For generations, this family of fishers have lived from the sea. Meli and Joffrey Saranda have five children. But they might not be able to carry on the family tradition of living by and from the sea in the future. Climate change poses a threat to their small island. I worry that my house will be destroyed by severe storms. The thought of it scares me, mostly because of my children. I don't want them to become fishermen. I want them to get a good education. The nearby island of Negros is responsible for part of the climate change problem. Sugarcane fields here are routinely torched after harvest, and the island's sugar factories spew carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The island of Negros is the source of nearly half of sugar produced in the Philippines. Many workers find jobs during the harvest, though most of them are paid a pittance. Much of the island's forests have been cleared to make room for sugarcane plantations. Forester Michel Alejado hopes to combat deforestation by planting new trees. She shows workers at a nursery how new forests can be produced using indigenous seeds. San Carlos City has supported the project for four years. Workers here are able to grow nearly 400,000 trees each year.